Hello, I'm Dave, and if you can't tell, uh, I like action cameras. I've got a lot of action cameras. In, in particular, some of my favorite action cameras are made by GoPro. And the reason why I, I'm always drawn to GoPro cameras is because they've got a familiar feature set, they work with just about every mount, they're not complicated, and they make my life as a full-time content creator a lot easier. So you can only imagine my excitement when I checked my mail the other day and this box was in there. Inside this box is the brand new GoPro Hero 12 Black. In this video today, we're gonna be getting this camera out of the box, taking a look at the hardware, and then we'll be checking out some of the sample clips that I've recorded with this camera so far. I haven't filmed anything yet, but future Dave will have, and he would have edited those clips into this video as we go through the new features. Does that make sense? And just as a quick spoiler, this video is not an in-depth review. It's not a review in any way. I'm not actually allowed to share with you any of my opinions, whether they're good or bad, or any side-by-side -side comparisons with any other cameras. So that's not what this video is going to be about. It's just purely going to be a highlight of all of the new features, some of the sample clips that I've taken so far, and you can do with that what you want. And of course, with all of that said, there will be a follow-up in-depth review coming very soon. So make sure to go down and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it. With that out of the way, let's, Let's dive right into this box and, and see what it's all about because I'm, I'm just way too excited. So as you can see here, we've got this really fancy kind of futuristic minimalistic box that says 12 on the front. And to my understanding, this is not going to be a retail package that you can go and buy at the store. This is really just for reviewers and people on YouTube. So just keep that in mind. Let's get this thing out of the box because I've been talking way too much. Oh, cool. It says, the official camera of fun. I sure hope so. I, I really do enjoy fun. This is just some documentation that we probably don't care about. Is there anything I do care about? Oh yeah, there is the uh, SD card. We're gonna need that. Diving one layer deep, we've got this cool cardboard 3D cutout thing. It's got like a fake camera lens there. And now we are finally greeted with the camera itself. On the left here, we've got the GoPro Hero 12 Black. And there it is in all of its beauty. It's got this sort of interesting black and blue speckled look to it, but the form factor is the same as all of the previous GoPros. I've got the Hero 11 black and they have not changed the form factor, so they're all the same. And then on the bottom is the mount. So this is one new feature right off the bat we're gonna see. Uh, first up, we do have the finger mount that was on the older GoPros. You know what this looks like, but if you fold those down, one welcome feature is the addition of a quarter 20 thread between those two fingers. So you can now attach the GoPro to any uh, tripod or any sort of mount that you may have with a quarter 20 thread, like a articulating arm, a tripod, or whatever else you might have with this sort of mount. So that's basically it for the camera for now. Let's put that aside for a second and take a look at the rest of the contents of the box. Next up, we have the Max Lens Mod 2.0 that comes in this rubberized case. And if I open that up, you can see the lens itself. And now we're down to the bottom layer of this box. Then we've got a little GoPro pouch here. I guess you could stick your GoPro in there to carry it around. And of course your standard GoPro accessories. And finally is the Enduro battery. So the Hero 12 Black by default comes with the Enduro battery in the box. This battery is not new. It's been around for a while, uh, but it is a much better performer. It lasts a lot longer than the older batteries and it performs much better in hot and cold environments. By the way, as I set this camera up with my phone, now's probably a good time to go down and hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying this video so far. I really appreciate it. And of course, if you're looking to pick up a GoPro Hero 12 Black, check out the links down below in the description. They do help support this channel. Now I've got the camera all set up and ready to go. Let's talk about some of the new features with the GoPro Hero 12 Black. And the first thing I want to talk about isn't a feature at all, but we should still talk about it. The price, the GoPro Hero 12 Black comes in at $399 here in the USA. And if you're wondering about the previous models with the GoPro Hero 11 and 10, these have also been adjusted in price. You can now get the GoPro Hero 11 Black for $349, which is $50 cheaper than the new 12 Black, or you can get the Hero 10 Black for $249. With the pricing of the Hero 12 Black out of the way, let's dive into some of the new features that are actually in the camera itself. And before I do that, I do wanna mention that the GoPro Hero 12 Black is largely the same as the Hero 11 Black. Like they have a lot in common. So I'm only gonna talk about 
about the new and exciting features, if I don't mention something here, just assume it's the same as the Hero 11 block. With that said, the first feature I wanna talk about is actually increased battery life on the Hero 12 Black, which is kind of interesting given that it uses the same Enduro battery that was available on the previous models. So in the GoPro Hero 12 Black, you can get about 70 minutes of recording in the maximum resolution and frame rate of 5.3K at 60 frames per second. And if you decide you wanna maximize your battery life even further, you can drop into 1080p at 30 frames per second and get a whopping 155 minutes of runtime. Again, this is not a review video, just sort of a first look and I'll need to do my own testing against these battery claims to see how long it actually runs for. Moving right along into the next set of new features on the GoPro Hero 12 Black, I wanna talk about the video specs. Again, largely the specs on paper are basically the same as the Hero 11 Black, but there have been some improvements in new features made along the way. The GoPro Hero 12 Black has the same maximum resolution as the Hero 11 Black at 5.3K at 60 frames per second. It also features the same aspect ratio for the the sensor. So it's got an eight by seven sensor, which is almost a square shape. With the similarities aside, the first new feature on the GoPro Hero 12 Black is HDR video. You can now film HDR video on the Hero 12 Black, and I'll show some clips of that on the screen now, which is high dynamic range video. And you're probably familiar with this with something like your iPhone, where if you film high dynamic range video, it's really poppy and punchy and exciting and vibrant, lots of colors. I'm trying to find a bunch of words to explain HDR, but you get what I'm going for here. On top of HDR video, the new GoPro Hero 12 Black also gets eight by seven support of the full sensor readout in all modes, where previously you could only use it in certain modes. So now you can utilize that square aspect ratio in things like time warp or time lapse or even the night lapse feature and get a square aspect ratio or almost square in all of those different modes. And when it comes to taking photos on the Hero 12 Black, there's also a new feature there for interval photo shooting. And I believe a lot of people requested this and it's finally here in the Hero 12 Black. On top of intervals, there's also new presets for time lapses on the GoPro Hero 12 Black Black with star trails, vehicle trails, and light painting presets. And on the GoPro Hero 12 Black, another neat trick is that it records both a video file of your time lapse, but it also records a stacked image in a photo file at the same time. The GoPro Hero 12 Black also has a new vertical video mode. So in the past, a lot of people would use their GoPro vertically like this and have to mount it to their helmet or on their chest in this vertical orientation, which can be a hassle if you don't have a mount to do that. Now on the GoPro Hero 12 Black, you can mount it in the standard orientation and use vertical video mode to capture a vertical video. So you'll get a nine by 16 aspect ratio 4K video, and that will be cropped out from that eight by seven sensor to give you a vertical video. So it just eliminates that extra step of having to edit it in post to get what you want. You can now shoot vertical and see what you want right on the screen. Next up, I wanna talk about stabilization on the GoPro Hero 12 Black. Because in the past, the GoPro Hero 11 already had incredible stabilization. This camera has got some of the most amazing stabilization on the Hero 11 Black. Now GoPro claims that they've improved the stabilization even more on the Hero 12 Black. And on top of that, they've improved the auto boost functionality. GoPro claims that it can analyze up to four times more data compared to the previous model in the Hero 11 Black. The stabilization is a good segue into the next new feature I wanna talk about on the Hero 12, and that is the Max Lens Mod 2.0. So the Max Lens Mod 2.0 attaches in the same way. You simply need to Unscrew your standard lens cover here, and you can pop on the Max Lens Mod 2.0, and now you're ready to go. So what does the Max Lens Mod 2.0 actually do? Well, it basically gives you a wider shot to work with. And it does that with a feature on the Hero 12 Black called Hyperview. Now, Hyperview was available on the Hero 11 Black as well with the Max Lens Mod, the original one. However, it's a little bit different now. On the Hero 12 Black, it's a full 177 degree field of view, which is insanely wide. For context, on the GoPro Hero 11 Black with the Max Lens Mod, you only got 155 degrees, which is still very wide, but it's now wider on the GoPro Hero 12 Black. On top of that extra wide field of view on the GoPro Hero 12 Black, it also retains 4K resolution and 60 frames per second with the Max Lens Mod 2.0 attached. Another really cool feature about the GoPro Hero 12 Black is that it can now connect to external Bluetooth devices for audio. So right now, as you can see, I've got the Beats Fit Pro earbuds in my ears. 
And I have these paired to my GoPro Hero 12 Black as an audio device. So I'm able to capture the audio coming from the microphones on these earbuds to my camera and it's synced up inside the camera. And the really cool thing about this is that all of your voice controls that the GoPro has, so if you wanna start or stop recording, you can basically use a voice control to do that by saying GoPro start recording or stop recording. Those now go through the earbuds that are attached to your head. All the audio prompts or alerts, the little beeps that you get from your GoPro will also show up in your earbuds. The Bluetooth connection on the Hero 12 Black can also accept up to four simultaneous connections. And that can be for things like remote controls, Bluetooth remote controls, earbuds, other microphones. I haven't tested that all yet, but I am excited by the possibilities. We're gonna move on to the next set of new features. I'm gonna throw this all in one bucket called professional features. So I think GoPro realized that a lot of professionals were using GoPros, people making videos and movies for Netflix or TV shows. A lot of people use GoPros for a variety of reasons because they're so compact and they take pretty high quality images. The first professional feature I wanna talk about is GP Log, and that is GoPro's first true log profile for video on the Hero 12 Black. This opens up a lot of possibilities in your favorite video editor, and they are providing a lookup table or LUT that you can use in Final Cut Pro or Premiere or DaVinci Resolve to throw it right on the footage to get the look right away and then tweak it to your heart's desire. If you don't know what any of that means, don't worry about it because this still has standard picture profiles for every everybody else out there. Another new pro feature on the Hero 12 Black is timecode. And I was actually pretty surprised to hear this. The GoPro Hero 12 Black now supports timecode sync. So if you have like four GoPro Hero 12 Blacks mounted around a car for a really interesting car chasing scene for a movie, you can now use timecode to sync them all together in post. With professional features aside, I also wanna mention in this video, the new GoPro media mod that's available for the Hero 12 Black. And the big update on the media mod is the ability to record two channels of audio from both the front microphone and the back microphone. So if you're interviewing someone with your GoPro, you can have the audio from the front camera and then have the back microphone as well for when you speak. And that's really interesting. I'm looking forward to testing that out. And the final new feature on the Hero 12 Black I wanna talk about is the updated menu system. They've made a lot of changes throughout the entire user interface on the GoPro Hero 12 Black to make it just a little bit easier to use. For example, when you're in your video settings now, there's now truncated menus which you can expand on the fly as you scroll down instead of one big scrolling menu. And on top of that, GoPro has now made tweaks to the easy mode setting, which makes things a lot easier for people who don't know what resolution and frame rates they need. They can basically select high quality wide angle and go shoot and not have to worry about all of the other stuff. I almost forgot to mention one more bonus feature with GoPro as a whole, and it's the update to the GoPro Quick app. GoPro's now rolling out a GoPro app for Windows and Mac desktops. This won't be coming anytime soon, but sometime next year this is coming and it looks super interesting. With all that said, we have reached the end of the new feature list on the new GoPro Hero 12 Black. And I'm going to repeat myself one more time. This was not an in-depth review. This was not a review at all. This video was purely me going through the spec sheet one by one and talking about each new feature. If you want to learn about the ins and outs about this camera, the good and the bad, and what I learned about it in my testing, you're going to have to stick around for my follow-up in-depth review, and that's where I will share all the side-by-side -side comparisons, my opinions, what's good, what's bad, the pros and cons, that will all be there. And to do that, you should probably go down below and hit the subscribe button, and while you're down there, maybe give me a thumbs up if you found this video entertaining or fun in some way. I would really appreciate that. Also, make sure to check out the podcast listed down below. Check out the links in the description if you wanna help support this channel because they cost nothing extra to you if you're interested in buying this camera. And I think that's all I've got for this one, and I'll see you very soon. Bye.